Hello, well, I am here again, okay, um, today we are with part 2 for this uh, helicopter game that it's like Bomber Blitz or based on this uh, game uh, Bomber Blitz, okay, well, for today, if you check in the previous tutorial or if you check the preview of this video, okay, we're going to add uh, the bombs and we're going to add collisions to destroy the, to destroy the buildings, well, um, the first thing that we're going to make Okay, because uh, if we refresh the screen, just to see what we have now. So we have uh, the buildings now are created automatically. Okay, and if we press, we have the helicopter going uh, to the left and then going down. So in this moment, we're going to remove the going down. Okay, because we are not going to use it now, because I just want to test, okay, we are going to enable this later on, okay, so we are going to disable the block, okay, so in this case it's not necessary, so, um, well, so let's start, because now things are getting more interesting for this video, so, uh, if you check, we have here some ideas, okay, that I was making, so, uh, let me destroy this because I'm going to show you what we are going to do today. So, the first thing that we want to do, it is like, remember these buildings, okay, are sprites. This is a bunch of sprites. We have created uh, a list or it is like a component, okay, that it's holding all of these um, buildings okay so first we created a list to store the images but also we create a new list that is the building sprite list that it's uh, containing this so I am telling you this because what I want now it is that we're going to create the bomb so it's going to be a new sprite okay so we go to the designer and then we are going to drag the bomb or the drawing an animation we are going to add a new sprite and this sprite we are going to rename it to bomb yeah you can write sprite just to make things clear sprite okay now we are going to set the picture of the sprite uh, you can import it ok I will share the bomb because I guess I didn't share the bomb in the previous tutorial ok so I will share the bomb in the file ok in the working file that we are going to have ok remember that I am sharing you this uh, the buildings the helicopter ok and also the bomb that I did in Inkscape ok well we are going to import the bomb Point PNG, okay. So um, and also, please, guys, don't forget to like the video, okay? To like the video to show me that you are really interested. Well, we have here the bomb. It looks a little bit big, so just let me fix that. Um, as I told you, I share this um, the file, the file, the files that I am using, okay? So in order uh, in order to help you to follow the tutorials okay so now uh, I have I guess I have this in the chopper bomb thing so and then I will share the explosions but for today it is the thing that we're going to work this bomb that I did as I told you in in, in Inkscape 32 times 64 okay so 32 times 64 so we can reduce the size okay so let's see 32 32 sorry times 64 so maybe in this case we can reduce this to half okay so in this case 32 and the other one 16 the width so let's see if it looks better I like it more because I thought it was so big so well we have the bomb over there so I just resize 32 times 16 and the interval let's set it to 
96 in this case so this is just for the moving thing okay and also maybe we need to move the heading because remember heading it's like by default it's zero so if we change the speed it will move to this part okay so maybe the heading it will be like minus 90 minus 90 and then you just change this thing that it's rotation no no rotation okay so we change uh, for the bomb sprite we change the heading and also the size here in pixels and the interval okay so now for the position and these things we are going to make them uh, in a moment okay so let's continue so uh the first thing what that we're gonna go it's go to going to the blocks um, and then in the blocks we're gonna work creating the procedure what i want as i told you we have this list of buildings so this list so i want to make this every time this bomb collides with any of the members of this list okay i want to detect the collision so i don't want to create a procedure for this one for this one for this for this for this for this no because i have them uh, arranged in a list okay so that it's uh, something that can help us to uh, to code these things okay i know these are sometimes confusing okay but uh, it is the idea well so now let's check our pros, uh, procedure here that we have in canvas so remember i said this just to fire uh, the helicopter to start moving the helicopter now we need something else to create the for the bomb to enable to animate the bomb so you let let's let me move here this power just to have it over here to have some order so let's create a new variable that is we're going to call it is bomb ready okay so that we have a bomb ready to be thrown well let's set this value to true okay so we created a new variable and we said is bomb ready okay to be launched that is the idea so and then we're going to create an if condition i hope this is like visible i know sometimes because i have this screen over here so let's make them a little bit bigger 85 I don't like a lot because sometimes I have to move a lot the things but I guess it's okay so now let's create this condition and we're going to use logic because we have true or false okay so we're going to check the condition if the bomb is ready okay it's equals to true so that means that we are like almost done to make it uh, able to uh, to uh, fire okay the first thing that we're going to make okay let's go here and here in the designer yes we have set everything for this bomb but at the beginning we don't want to see the bomb okay so let's make the bomb invisible and disabled okay so now when we touch the screen we want to make the opposite we want to make the, the bomb sprite enabled and visible so we are going to duplicate this so bomb sprite enabled and bomb sprite visible and we are going to set them to true true okay the next thing that we need to make when we make the like visible now we want to change the speed of the sprite remember that we changed the heading in the designer so we set the speed and uh, let's set the speed to 20 I guess that would be okay we're going to try it right now okay so now uh, also we need the position so we want the bomb going from the helicopter okay so we need the X position of the helicopter that it will be like here in the left upper corner so but we want to move it a little bit like down okay so we're going to use its uh, x and y positions 
So for that, we're going to go to bomb sprite and we are going to go to X, the X position and the Y position. And we're going to make uh, it these positions based on heli bomber. We're going to use its properties, duplicate this one. So for the X, I like to be like this. Okay, so I guess it's okay if we just set it to the same. And for the Y, I'm just going to make some a little adjustment. There is also another thing that we need to do. Okay, so sorry. So in Heli Bomber, go to the Z value or Z, okay, and set it to a higher number. Okay, so in that case, it will be over the images, so over the bomb and everything. Okay, it will look like in the front. Now, well, uh, as I told you, the Heli Bomber XY value, we're going to use the same value from uh, the Heli Bomber, okay, so for the bomb, but we're going to increase the value, okay, so move it down a little bit. Um, oh, sorry, we're going to have a problem over there. So we are going to reset the connection and then I'm going to refresh. But so as I told you, we need to increase this position going down. So we are going to increase this base on the helicopter uh, height. So in that case, it will be like the bomb will be like throwing from this part, from the bottom of the helicopter. Okay. So well, now let's close this. And let's refresh again this thing. So let's connect. So let's see if we can have connection. LGPS XJ. So we just wait a little bit. But hopefully. And to try this, if this thing is working well. So while this is loading, just let's review the code. So check. We created a variable that it's called is bomb ready. So it, in this case, is to detect okay that it will have the bomb. And the idea with this, it is to ah sorry here is a mistake because it was for the changing of the screen. But we just refresh everything, and we will have six hundred here. And that's it okay well as i told you we create this variable just to detect this thing if we can throw the, the bomb we don't want to be like throwing bombs and bombs we can just throw the bomb until the bomb makes contact okay so we can throw another bomb okay so that is the idea so now uh, we said uh, we make it enable visible and also we set the speed then we have the position we're going to take the position from the heli bomber and the Y position from the heli bomber also, but a little bit moving the, like back uh, down, okay, so down to from the uh, helicopter. Now, the final thing that we need to set, okay, to avoid uh, to be able to to be like throwing bombs, it is this one, but I'm going to show you what I mean. So we're going to set, when we finish this, again, these two false. So bomb is not ready. But if we touching here we have the bomb but check i can the bomb if i click a lot so bomb is not like falling because i can destroy it uh, i can call it again every time i say so what can i do in this case well in this case to do fix that we are going to set this variable sorry that is the set bomb every time we fail so we are not able to throw the bomb until this make can uh, contact in this case with the edge check in this case we cannot fix it because now it is over there because we need now to go to what happens when the bomb uh, gets to the edge first to the edge because we are we having war with collisions so let's destroy this garbage so now let's go to bomb sprite again and let's go for let's look for this what happens when bomb get an edge okay well in this case we're interested in this edge okay the bottom so if you check here the description it has that the every edge has a number 
So starting from north, it is one. And then for south that we're inter interested, uh, south it is number minus one. Okay, so it's go, it's going from one, two, three, uh, four, and then it starts like minus one, minus two, and so okay. But we're interested in the edge minus one. So we're going to go here, and we're going to create a condition just to detect if we have a um, um, reach this edge okay so we're going to say hey, you know what if the edge it's equals to minus one so that means to the south or to the bottom okay could you please okay uh, now set the bomb uh, to make the bomb ready to be thrown again well in this case to do that we're going to create a very simple procedure over here for this bomb and we're going to call it reset the bomb so when we have made collisions or or get to the edge to the bottom so we're going to call this procedure the first thing that we're going to make it is this we're going to duplicate this one and we're going to set this variable to true now when we have uh, reached the edge now we are ready to throw a new bomb so that's why I changed this to true then we are going to make the bomb okay um, we are going to disappear the bomb okay so we are going to duplicate this one and we are going to make the bomb not uh, enabled so we are going to make that okay in order to avoid collisions or false collisions so we are going to disable and make it invisible so now uh, we are going to insert this procedure here reset the bomb here when we get the h minus one that is the bottom so if you check it disappear now let's throw a bomb we cannot throw another bomb until this get to the h check so i cannot just when this get to the h disappear and that's it very interesting right so now um there is another thing that we can make <clears throat> right now so because it's very simple so we're going to go here to social and we're going to go to media and we're going to add a sound this sound we're going to set it to 100 the minimal interval and the source uh, also i will share this file with you that is big explosion cut off so please check it okay so and please don't forget to like the video i know and i'm telling you this a lot but it is very important for me but well so we go here and every time we um, reset the bomb okay the position we're going to play well when we get the edge we're going to play the sound okay so that's basically the idea We have a sound over there. Let me just. But it looks more than a game, right? But this is just the easy part of this tutorial because now we have to go to uh, more interesting things, okay? So that was the part that it took me more time when I was like preparing the tutorial because when I prepare a tutorial, I had to make it twice, okay? So one for you and one for me, okay? In order to test, to try some uh, possible errors, okay? In the previous one, I didn't make some things, okay? Because I was changing the format of the of the game and that's why but well so let's go here and now as i told you before we want this uh, we want to check you know uh, if any of these buildings okay this group of buildings uh, any member of this group or list collides with the bomb so we want to detect this thing and we want to modify the the size of the buildings okay so that's why what that's what we want so in this case we're going to create we're going to go to bomb sprite and we're going to use the collide with okay so this is the interesting part i, I know for me it's, it was the first time that i use this kind of blocks okay 
So, um, and also we are going to create another list. I, I, we haven't created, no, no, we have it here. The heights of the buildings that we didn't use in the previous video. Yes, we use them. But, um, well, so let's go. Remember that the buildings, this is important to know. We have 3, 45, 6, 75. So we are going to reduce the buildings later on by just the 50%. Okay, but first, let's go here to bomb sprite collide with okay so now as I told you this is the interesting part the first thing that we're going to make it is we're going to use for each remember that I have some tutorials about uh, this block that it's very interesting for each but basically the idea with it for each is that we're going to run a uh, code for a bunch of mm, components okay that are uh, like group in a list like we did with the buildings okay so we're going to change this to sprite or building sprite you can uh, rename this sprite so for each sprite in the list which list we're going to take this and for the list a uh, buildings sprites list okay no images no heights okay so the buildings sprite list that is the list with this thing that we made the component okay so now we're going to add a condition you know what I need to check if bomb has a collision with any member of this list so to do that we're going to use a very interesting block in any component that this is the first time that I use it okay that is called called sprite colliding with or component other so this is a very interesting thing, but we need to check here and uh, uh, insert a condition. So that means that this block it's going to detect if a collision has been registered between the sprite and the pass sprite. So the pass sprite it will be like this one, the bomb sprite, and any member of this group. So we're going to insert this. Remembering for component, we add here this sprite part, and then we are going to set uh, if we are having collision with this bomb sprite we go to the bottom of its blocks and we're going to check this here so if we have any collision with any member of this uh, group so if this collision equals to true okay if the bombs has collision then what we want well um just really fast we can add the sound just if we have collision we play the bomb and also when we have collision remember that we are going to reset the bomb to make it uh, able to be the light thrown again okay so we reset the bomb the previous procedure that we just created so we are going to make the bomb invisible now this is the the tricky part we want to change the size of the sprite that has collision with the pump so we want to reduce its actual value by the 50 percent okay 50 percent by 50 percent so we're going to do that using here a little math and we're going to use here this one and because this is reducing we're going to use this the subtracting part and also we're going to change we're going to go to any sprite image sprite and we're going to change the height just the height so we want to make them smaller so we're going to drag high 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 so we're going to change this set the image height of the component we're going to use this one so um, then we're going to insert this here and we're going to reduce as I told you so basically we are going to reduce the current size so we're going to call this one here so the current size of the component of the building that has the collision and we're going to reduce this by 15 percent based on the canvas height so we go to the canvas height and to get the 50 percent well we're going to go here high times 0 0.15 and that in that case we are going to reduce the size of the building that has collision by 15 percent 
Now, when we change the size, the building will move up, okay? So, for example, if I throw the bomb right now, check, it moves here because here is the origin. So, we need to move the sprite, okay, the sprite that has collision. We need to move its Y position. So we need to set it again, okay? So to move it backwards, uh, I mean to the bottom. So we're going to duplicate this one, sprite again, and we're going to move it to the canvas height. So in that case, we'd move it uh, down, height, height. So basically that is the idea, check. If I have another collision, check. Very interesting, right? Now it moves. Now let's fix this building the one that it was over there and it will change now it is like moving back okay so changing the the position so basically that's very cool right well now we are almost done the next thing that we need to make it is to detect uh, when we destroy a building, when we destroy a building, basically the idea is that we are like setting one sprite to zero. Okay, so first let's add here a condition that we are going to use to check if we have a building that has a zero in his width. Okay, so and also we need to create a variable to know if we have destroyed all the buildings and we're going to call it uh, counter counter buildings so we can call it counter destroy I don't like to have so big uh, variables but sometimes they are useful okay so we're going to set this to zero this variable to zero and that's it so this is the one that we are going to increase every time we have a sprite a, a building get the zero uh, sizing height well we want to increase this variable so to do that we're going to make here if and we're going to use a little uh, here we're going to compare and now we need to check if this we're going to duplicate this one if the height of the sprite that has collision it is equals to zero that means that it's it has been destroyed so you know what I want you to the counter building destroy increase this value by one okay because we're going to increase the value of the building by one so we're going to use the same value by one we're going to increase this value now how can we know uh, well we need when we destroy all of them we want to reset everything okay so we need to create a game over procedure but well so let's first create here the principal condition that it will help us to uh, reset everything and it will has this if and again we go here if the value of the destroyed buildings we have eight three four five six seven eight it's equal to eight so we go here so we want to run a procedure called game over but that we haven't made okay so uh, if this is this is equal to eight well sorry so now check if this is equal to eight we want to finish the uh, to finish the game so basically that is the idea but if not if this is not equal to eight so we want to run these same uh, blocks that just I want you to check everything okay as normal so that's why I moved these two else because I just want to finish the game if we have this equals to 8 
So in that case, we're going to go here to variables and um, to procedure, sorry. And we're going to create a procedure and we're going to call it game over. Of course, it is empty. We are going to create it, but just to insert it this. So if we have the counter destroy building equals to eight, so let's game over the game. Else, continue just reducing the buildings. Okay. So now let's create this game over procedure. So now let's think about the game over procedure. What we want. Okay. Remember that we have the buildings. So buildings are already created. So we need to do what with the buildings okay so we just need to resize everything again now to random values from the starting part okay so uh in order to do that we are going to go here to the other blocks just to copy something that we need okay um remember in the making buildings uh, procedure so we said many things, but these are not interesting right now because the only thing that we uh, want to make it is to create buildings, the height of the buildings because we have the width, we have the position, so they are ready there. Oh, sorry. Sorry, it's duplicate, not do it. So we are going to duplicate this block because this is the one that we are interested in. So you know what? We need to change the height of this uh, thing. And also we are going to change the... Um, let's go here to game over. So I am just taking this block because, you know, when you have game over thing, I want you to change now the uh, sprites but of course this is not going to work right now like that because remember these blocks work only in for each because it's from all the items in a list so we're going to insert them over there and let's rename this to sprite sprite and let's use this uh, sprite tool and then we we'll call it again sprite Yes, and now in which list? Remember the list, the list of uh, buildings, or the list of buildings, sprites, building sprite list. So here, that goes over there. And then we're going to change the height because they were like zero now. Remember when we destroy all? So now we change or refill them again, okay, or remake them uh, its height. And also we have to update its Y position, if not, we won't see anything so we are going to go here to y y position and we're going to set it uh, we use get the sprite and we're going to set it to the canvas height remember just to move them uh, down that's it that's it looks pretty good so now what else also we need to reset the pump reset the pump we're going to reset the pump and of course uh, we're going to run this here after this after we reset the pump we need to reset the helicopter okay when we finish to do that so now let's refresh everything again we go here and i just like to refresh everything to detect the new variables that we have created and that's it that is the idea if we check now we have this collision so when we click we have one we need to destroy the buildings okay so that it's going to take a little bit let me escape them and if that's it so let me destroy more so I have destroyed a building here. So that means that maybe my variable destroy buildings now it has to be one. So let's check. Yes, it's one. So I start like destroying more things. So that's why I didn't uh, add this part when you are like going down with the helicopter. Because I was testing. So for testing purposes, it's really good at, like that. In the next video, we will add this thing, okay? And some other stuff, maybe, that we are missing, but game is almost, 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 like, quite finished. 
we are going to add the explosions in the next video please uh, remember I have the images for you in the description of the video just help me with your uh, like some some uh, show me some appreciation and that you're interested in these tutorials please okay that is the way you can help me sharing this video and liking the videos okay well we have destroyed some buildings let's check the variable now variable is fine so we're missing six seven and eight okay oh everyone oh sorry oh pathetic maybe it's too fast I have to change the speed just for me oh slow oh well I hope you are not getting more with this thing but now variable is like seven we are almost done seven oh I was so fast so you have to be careful because if you throw the bomb like I did when this is not in the screen it is throwing in another part okay well we are almost done oh sorry that's it now now it's empty if we click again the bomb it will reset everything so let's see if this is working because it will run the game over procedure oops it's not working because I have to check if we have everything here just let me check it because maybe I am missing something so we have this bomb if hmm, I don't know so let's check this one if we run this procedure yes we have that ah, and we have to set the heli sprite to zero okay so to do that we are going to check its procedure and then we are going to fix this thing sorry we are almost done so don't worry so for the heli heli bomber we are going to set its original speed to zero so when we reset the values okay so let's set it to zero now uh, when we run the game over procedure do it so that's the part that we have now okay so and uh, then we have this variable uh, also we need to change this variable and uh, when we have this uh, game over stuff okay so um, the counter building it has to be set in zero okay so we need to set this just let me check here um, this variable that we created let's set it to um, zero so we can edit in here and let's set the destroy buildings to zero that's it okay well we were missing that one okay and um, let me check if we are missing something I guess we have the size the reset stuff and that thing so for each sprite you know what I know why this is not working because we have it inserted here the condition for game over it is not in here so we need to move this thing again to the original position so let me drag this thing and this condition to detect game over has to be outside of the loop of the for each so now like that it should work so if you check we have this so now if this condition is happening to wait then 
call game over if not like that so okay so if we destroy the buildings okay ah we have to set the variable to zero because now it was like full so now it well set right so there is another thing that we need to make when we touch the screen okay now it is not like moving because it was in the game over okay so now we need to change because i modified this thing so we need to change the heli bomber and where is it touch set heli bomber speed to a 5 to 10 i guess that's okay so we need to modify this thing ah also game over yes i know why that is another thing so if we are in game over so um that is another thing that is happening here so maybe the off thing okay so we are using heli start so and heli start it is like speed ah yes i know what it is missing check so now remember that we have this variable false we need to set it to false when we reset heli bomber so power of the heli bomber we're going to set the power of heli bomber okay and we're going to set it to false because it will be like in off and then when we touch we will be uh, making this to true okay so let's see let's run the procedure again so let's imagine that we finish we reset let me use another one to have smaller buildings just to finish this that's it okay and then i am ready to destroy the city and to run the procedure then we are going to add the sound of the helicopter and we're almost done with this tutorial for the next part I will share with you how to add the explosions and I mean this kind of a explosion simple thing graphic to make it look more interesting and we're going to add some more maybe another thing okay but game if you check it's almost done you I guess you can make the other things you can figure the, these things out and game looks very interesting i really like it i really like it i really like it now of course i am not adding this also for the next video we're going to add also when we move the oh the helicopter okay going down so let's just make this thing bigger just for you to see better Oh, I throw the bomb. Okay, well, basically that is the idea. Okay, so if we just run this thing, okay, we we will have um, the new procedure. Mm, really fast. I have to reduce the speed. Yes, but I don't want to reduce the speed. Oh. So guys, as you can see, I am really slow. Add is coming. And if I press now, oh sorry. it has to run this thing but we need to refresh the screen okay so that's why it's not like running right now okay but if we check here the global counter it is like setting name okay so that will work okay so it is just uh, this thing that we need to check okay but it's in here so i guess that's a goal for this video okay if you check this condition this is now true okay so well, we are ready to call game 
here we are. Okay, so what we need to refresh the screen to make that, that thing able. And I guess that's all for this video. Okay, so if you found this video interesting, please uh, like the video. Okay, that will help me a lot. Okay, and please share the video with your friends or with someone who's learning App Inventor. And, um, um, also, uh, check my other videos. I have some other videos about games that are um, a little interesting. I have the Mario One tutorial. I am working on Space Invaders, guys. But it's because when I played this game, I was really, 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 really curious about trying to make this game, and I am really happy with the result. Okay, it looks really cool. And it's if you check it, it's not very complicated. I mean, the blocks. So it is a very nice game, and you can add some uh, variety with other things. But I guess game it's almost, almost done. So well, don't forget to check my other videos. And sorry for spending too much time on these things. But I am trying, okay? If not, in the next video we will fix the game over procedure, okay? So just to check why it's not like loading, okay? Because maybe it is just uh, something that I missed from the other video, okay? So when we have this thing. So, anyway. So my name is Eduardo, okay, and I will see you next, next, next time, okay, so, see you next time, bye-bye.